Hey guys, welcome back to another video of my Muddy Minecraft Let's Play. Today, off camera, I did a tiny bit of work. I gathered some resources, not a lot, I will admit. Hopefully, it will be enough. As well as, I did manage to get some gold boots from killing mobs. Hopefully, I've got the amount that I need to build a bridge. Not going to be a big fancy one. Well, knowing me, it probably is. I have the area set out a bit. Or where I would like it. Just to make it a bit quicker instead of like going around. Want to build here, want to build there. No, can't build it there. So Easily enough. I cleared this area out a bit and I added this to the land. It was already made like this and I thought why not build the bridge here? So I've got dark oak and acacia which may look like an odd combo but I think it looks nice to go on. So, to begin off, it's quite simple. If I didn't fall in the lake, river, uh, we'll call it a river because it does go out to sea. So, to begin off with, we want to keep rotating till we get to the other side. In case you're facing in, and dark oak facing out. This is just one of those bridges that I've liked the design before and I have built before. And honest to I just really liked it. So ooh. Okay, I did not expect this. It looks quite perfect, really. So instead of keep going back and forth, back and forth. Oop, didn't want to place that there. So it's going to go back and place this like this. Last but not least, last lock. Then come over to this side, and I want to do the opposite to that. Oh. Falls into the river again. Sorry if this gives anybody motion sickness. Now we've got three blocks. So far, so good. Oh, falling into the lake again. <laughs> then go back along. If I could place the box right instead of placing them wrong. Yeah, go from there. 
Ooh. Sorry for any weird noises that I make. My tooth has been playing up and yeah, just got a sharp shooting pain going for it. Nothing really to worry about. I get it every now and then. So, then we want to go down the center. I'm not really a big fan of the orangeness of acacia. I prefer to work with like greys, like the log texture. But I prefer to work with dark colors at the end of the day. It's just my kind of freedom so to speak that doesn't look too bad indeed it doesn't so oh no I wanted to change the design didn't I yeah, I've done this wrong. Whoops. I've made a boo-boo. I wanted to use more acacia in the floor. So. Because the pattern I had all lined up does not line up by looks of things. I wanted to use more dark oak in the floor than acacia. Apparently I've used more acacia and well, more dark oak than I wanted because I had to use it other places. I know I could change the design but I like sticking with like certain designs that I've worked out because it works out better in the long run for me and I feel like it's more in a sense you get to see what my kind of style is. I still need to make a sleeping bag. I cannot be bothered though. So let's quickly swim along the floor here. Picking up all the blocks. Oop. Getting close. Oop. Oh. Monday. Try to avoid him. And try to get out. Mm. My mate by hasn't gone to plan. Is this. I wanted to do a zigzag of acacia instead of oh bro. Zombies dying under this bridge. Oh, saves me killing them. I feel like it's gonna look cooler if I go like this. I've got a little bit of XP farm. Nico's gonna start drowning and then pops back up. So I'll be shocked. We actually have a smart zombie for once. <gasps> we got a legendary. We got a legendary. What do we have? Iron helmet, eight lapis, and a saddle. 
Put the yarn helmet on straight away. <laughs> This is an odd design, I will admit. I wanted to have it so it's like strips instead of like zigzag in a sense. I prefer it looks better. So, one, two, three. Go for two from this side. One, two, three. This is where I'm going to get attacked by the zombie. You can disappear. Goodbye. I know I am working in the dark. I just don't fancy getting killed. Actually, I thought, I think, yeah, now I think about it a bit more. You. Uh. Uh. Hope for the best. Ooh. Risking it for a biscuit working at night. Now I want slabs. Uh. <laughs> this in a minute. I got two of them. Let's boost that up. And I want it to look cool. So I'm just gonna go out of the blue and go like this. Let's see if I can I sent there's enough for me. As you can see, I'm just going with a lot of detail. I want this bridge to stand out. I can't reach. No! Right, so, since this bridge is a two center, I want to go like that. I don't even have to calculate, you can just see it's got a two center. I prefer working with odd numbers, like I did say in a previous episode. But working with even numbers from time to time, it gives me a break. And it kind of like changes it in a sense. It like opens up new paths. At the end of the day, everybody's different. Not everybody can be a good builder, not everybody can, is a bad builder. You build to what your comfort zones are. You know your limits. And go to them. I have a few pieces of sand I can pull up with. That's a bonus. Ooh, I'm just going to jump down here. So we got some uh, like that. Any other drops? Do you have a rotten flesh? More rotten flesh. Eventually I will set up auto crafting. Oh, it's turn day almost. I'll quickly run down here. There's a blizz. I am screwed. There's a creeper. Uh, just don't turn around and keep running. Enderman or that? Nope. I'm just doing a 360 and I'm just jumping into bait. Well, base. Then I go to bed. I'm 
That's funny. Compressed zombie. Drowned. I didn't know they actually had death messages for that. Well, we'll be, you know, I'm a new thing every day. And I'm still learning stuff now. <laughs> Ooh, that ain't too bad. I'm happy with that. Can't wait to see what it's like when it's finished. That's a perfect vanish point for it though. Well look kinda cool as well. Right, so one, two, three, four, four. Ooh, so close. I want you there. Up there. Sorry if I fall silent, you know me, I'm just concentrating. Right. Torches. Might as well add a few up here. Save some mobs spawning. Probably don't need to add them up here, but yeah. I'm gonna do it anyway. So, let's sit down. I feel like this is going to be kind of cool. Oh. If I could place it the right way. Can I have my slap back? Thank you. And there's my stair. I want your stair not that direction, you nut her. That direction. That direction. Looks like the game does not want to properly work for me today. It'll just be my luck that it doesn't want to work any other day. <laughs> just come from this side. I do go a bit extreme with detail, but that's just who I am. And that's what I feel is one of my best qualities. People may disagree, others may agree. And this isn't the best bridge I've built, but it's one that I've built and I like the design. So, you just follow it round. Twisting and curving it so it matches the like, kind of like form of the bridge, so to speak. In. And that's how it's done. Then you switch over to the other side. And then you just repeat. And I'm just going to quickly cut the sand. One, two, so we don't fall off the bridge because this is still kind of shallow. got railing. It doesn't really look that functional. I will admit, but it does look kind of cool. 
my own opinion there. With buildings, as I go along, it's I rate them in a sense of what I feel is going to work. So, like, one that doesn't look like it's going to be that efficient, doesn't look that pleasing to the eye, tends, for my kind of standard, is like, wow, I could quite easily build that again. But, like I say, everybody has a different opinion on builds. Mine is work to your limits. If you can push past them, do attempt, but don't. Well, go out of your comfort zone. Try stuff. Work around stuff. And try to always improve. Don't say it that's the best I'm going to do. If anything, go on a creative one. Take a look at it. Say, oh, I like that. I'm going to take that part. I'm going to take this part. And I'm going to improve it. So, I'm just going to use these slabs up. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, I had six extra slabs. Oh, that don't look too bad. I'm happy with that. I will admit I did go with a different design and I feel like I might I don't know I might keep this idea ooh ooh that gives me shivers I could have switched those logs around though meh I'm going to leave it though I like it so Really, all I had planned for this episode was building a bridge, but I got a little bit longer to spare, so I'm going to start work on a bit of power, so I can start automatically doing stuff. So, in here you can see I've got the X Nahilio. If I go back into here I actually get it to work EX and There's three different pieces EX Compression EX If I can find it Arsis uh, Artis uh, I don't even know how to spell it and EX Nihilio. All three of these are quite nice. When they work together, so for example, it's got it's got compressed flint. I didn't even know it was a thing. Compressed dirt, which is also from EX, uh, not EX, Extra Utilities, which is 9 dirt. Compressed sand, same again. Compressed gravel, yeah, all three of these. Well, four, I should say. That's useful to know. Draconium. Wait, what? You can get. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. I didn't even know that was a thing. Oh, you got double pressed. Bl oh, jeez, that's a lot of diamonds. Oof. That is a lot of diamonds. 
18 holy 36 36 and 36 that's 60 72 diamonds just to make that oh Jeez, that's a lot. So, in this pack, I wanted to aim for this, which is all right. It doesn't take a lot of power. I have, I can't remember, but you've got the automatic hammer and automatic sieve. The automatic hammer is more what I'm aiming for. So you can use Invar or Dark Steel. Invar is a mix of two iron to one nickel. Iron, iron, nickel. Or ferrous, whatever you want to call it. Nickel dust, there you go. Or you can use dark steel, which you can get from the loot bags. Which is a steel ingot from Tinker's Construct. Which is quite easily made, steel blend. Never pick iron, which we get from the never. And there's also a machine that makes it. I can't remember. What was it? QED makes six. Redstone furnace induction smelter. Pulverized charcoal. One iron. Yeah. Four ingot and four. It's cheaper to do it with the powders. I think. I'm probably wrong. But anyway. There's a few ways of doing it. But with this, you can put the ore. So, copper ore, aluminium ore, any kind of ore. You can pull it in and it will crush it down into, if I have any left, the broken. And then it will turn, if you, then you block it and it will turn it into crushed. And then from crust it turned it into powdered. Which then you could put the powdered block, this stuff, gold or dust, into the smeltery. And instead of having like one ore, well, let's say you break two ores at the beginning. For the next you could end up three. And from there you could end up with anywhere from another three to maybe five maybe six if you're lucky if you have fortune then yeah you will get lucky but looking at the time I've got to get going I've got very important stuff to be doing and yeah sorry I couldn't st now I've got chunk borders up now Ooh. Anyway, hope you have a good day, hope you have a good night, wherever you are, and this is me, Maxi, signing out.